everyone this is uh, Cal from uh, South of Missouri coming to you from a little man cave and uh, due to other circumstances I wasn't able to get my video excuse me made yesterday so I'm a day late but I wanted to do my Wednesday insight for live video uh, but before I do I wanted to give everybody an update on my wife uh, she did a test negative for COVID and so there were other issues going on so we got her some strong medication and hopefully in the next two or three days she'll be feeling lots better thank you everyone who's uh, said a prayer for her and kept her in mind we appreciate that so much it means a lot to me uh, and uh, uh, as you know that's why I cut my uh, Texas road trip uh, had to cancel it this year had to get back home and take care of her uh, she's my number one priority so Texas will always be there uh, maybe we can do that in the fall when the weather's cooler uh, actually uh, kind of relieved that we did have to cancel it in one sense because it was hotter than blazes down there uh, I rode back on the bike on uh, Sunday this last Sunday and it was pretty much 97 degrees all the way back until the Sun went down then the temperatures dropped down into the 80s and the 70s and the last hour was uh, pretty pleasant riding back into home and uh, these last few days have been up in the 90s today was 94 tomorrow's supposed to be hotter so it is hot I've had the air conditioner on in little man cave I just turned it off so I wouldn't get the background noise but uh, anyway uh, you know I want to get turn this around just in case I'm getting a reflection from that window I never know about that but uh, anyway uh, I appreciate y'all tuning in thanks for my new subscriber today uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I, uh, I uh, pray that you would help me to reach that 100 mark. I'm at 146 subscribers now. That's uh, epic for me. I count that good for, for a good old boy out here in uh, southwest Missouri. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, uh, I'm a retired minister of over 50 some years. I have a master's degree in uh, psychology and counseling and I uh, did that quite a bit. And so... Uh, I think I've got a little bit to share. I've been married going on 51 years this August 3rd, so uh, not too far away from 51 years here coming up pretty quick. Uh, got two kids, grown kids, and uh, four uh, grandkids. I've got a granddaughter that I uh, 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 haven't seen. Uh, I've got um, three grandsons. Two of them live with us with their mom. And I really uh, enjoy having them around. But uh, today, I want to talk to you about something else. Uh, I think I've mentioned it in a past video, just in in, in glancing. But uh, today, I want to talk to you about non-negotiables. Having some non-negotiables in, in your life. Some things that you will not compromise on. Some things that you will not change. You will not negotiate about. And some of those things that I'm talking about is, number one, I'm a Christian. I've been a Christian since I was 18 years old. and put my faith and trust in Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I believe in a, in a supernatural God that watches over us and, and uh, formed this beautiful planet of ours. Uh, and one thing that I will not compromise on, I will not negotiate about it, that's my faith. My faith... My spiritual life has been a big part of my life uh, going on some 50 some years now and uh, I won't compromise about that at all it's non-negotiable uh, won't talk to you about it won't won't change my mind on it I'm a believer the Bible is my go-to book uh, I proved it to be true in my life by reading it believing it and practicing it and it's proved to be true. Uh, I love to read the Psalms and the Proverbs because there's a lot of wisdom in there about life. And uh, 
the Bible's got a lot of answers. Uh, when I've got questions, I can go to the Proverbs or the Psalms or just pray and ask the Lord to show me in His Word, uh, give me some answers, and uh, I usually find them. Another thing that I won't compromise on is my marriage. Uh, like I said, going on 51 years this coming August 3rd, and uh, my wife and I, we've had some rough times. We've, in our very first five years of our marriage, you know, it was, it was pretty rocky. We got married when we were 19. We were young, still growing, still maturing, still learning about ourselves, let alone each other. And so we separated a few times, and we did... Uh, talk about divorce, but we said, no, we're not going to do that. We're not going to run from our problems. We're not going to ditch each other. Uh, you just carry the same problems into the next marriage. So we don't do that. We don't, uh, we've taken the word divorce out of our vocabulary and we work through our issues and our problems, but, uh, we love each other very much. And like I said, 51 years, this August 3rd, we won't compromise. We won't negotiate concerning our marriage. Uh, I won't negotiate about my children. My children are my life. I love them dearly. And uh, yeah, just like any human being, they're not perfect. Um, but uh, I love them and nothing's going to keep me from loving them. They can never do anything or say anything uh, that's going to cause me to stop loving them and caring for them as my children. Uh, they'll always be my children no matter how old they are. Uh, but I love them, uh, treat them with respect, and they treat me with respect, and I appreciate that. They are two great grown adults uh, that have accomplished great things in their life, and I love them very dearly. So I will not compromise about my children. Same goes for my grandkids. Uh, there's nothing they can say or do that's going to ever cause me to stop loving them or negotiate my feelings uh, toward them. Uh, you need some non-negotiables in your life. If you don't have non-negotiables in your life, you will sway to every little thing that comes along. Uh, you'll be running to and fro and here and yon and uh, won't know what you believe or what you stand for. Um, you know, I stand for the Constitution of not the United States, freedom of speech, uh, both written and verbal. And uh, I uh, support the Second Amendment, our right to bear arms. I'm not going to negotiate on that. Uh, you know, I'm just an old redneck Southwest Missouri boy. And uh, it's like Charlton Heston said when he was head of the NRA, you know, from my cold dead hands. Uh, I believe in the right to keep and bear arms. And uh, our governor is here in Missouri is, is fighting for that uh, for us. And I appreciate that. Uh, not going to compromise on that. Uh, you know, uh, things that I could compromise on is, uh, you know, what kind of car you drive. I could care less what kind of car you drive, what kind of car I drive. Uh, that's your business, and you can change your mind. You can drive a Ford this year, Chrysler next year, and a Chevy the year after that. You know, you can change your mind on those things. But what I'm talking about, you've got to have some things in your life that you will not change your mind on that you stand firm on and that you will not waver you will not give in you will not compromise it is non-negotiable in your life and uh, you've got to have those things you've got to find out what those are in your life and you've got to stand for them you've got to stand firm on those things you've got to plant them solid in your mind and in your heart and say, this is something that I will not compromise. I will not negotiate on. It is not up for debate. It is not up to talk about. Uh, it's, you know, you can have your own opinion on a lot of different things. Uh, I can have my opinion on a lot of different things. And most of the time, they don't amount to a hill of beans. It's my opinion and your opinion. And we all have those things. But I'm talking about things that really matter in life and find out what those things are in your life and be determined that you're not going to negotiate on them. You're going to stand firm on them. You're going to stand solid and uh, be determined. Teach your kids to have some non-negotiables in your life. Let your spouse know 
that uh, your marriage is not negotiable. Uh, you know, uh, as a family, come come together and determine what are non-negotiables in your life. You know, when we were growing up and we were going to church, it wasn't negotiable with our children whether we were going to go to church on Sunday or not. They knew we went. Now, they're adults. They've, make their, they've made their own decision now. We raised them right. We raised them with moral values. Now they're out on their own. And they have to decide what their own non-negotiables are. They've had to make their own decisions whether they will continue in the faith whether they would continue to go to church, whether they would continue to teach those moral and spiritual values to the kid, to their kids. But I'm telling you, society is not always right. Society doesn't always tell you right. Society doesn't always do right. So it's so uh, rarely is it right to follow the crowd because the crowd in society this day and age uh, more than likely to lead you down a wrong path. But anyway. I'm not going to harp on. I'm going to close for now, but I want to challenge you. Determine and find what those non-negotiables are in your life and stand strong on them. Stand true. Do not bend. Do not run. Do not give in. Do not compromise. Stand your ground. Stand firm and tell other people when issues come up, I'm sorry, this is not negotiable. Uh, This is not up for debate. This is not up for conversation. This is it. Matter solved. This is where I stand, and I will not negotiate on it. Get those things in your life. Stand true to your beliefs. Stand strong on your convictions, and uh, it will pay off in the long run. All right? I love you. appreciate you. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to Cal on a Wing and a Prayer. I post every Wednesday, Insight for Life, and every Saturday, a couple of days, I'll be posting my one meal a day update program. This Saturday will be week 22. Hope to have some exciting news for you. I'm feeling great. I'm doing great. And uh, so hope you'll tune in this Saturday for my one meal a day update. Thanks for tuning in today. Subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever a new video comes up. All right? This is Cal on a wing and a prayer from Southwest Missouri, the little man cave. Love you, appreciate you. I'm out of here.